everybody, I'm Tanya T, founder of Weight Loss Mindset, and I am your personal nurse and your personal weight loss consultant. And today I am making my apple pie French toast. This stuff is decadent. And it is two full slices with the apple pie topping for only 138 calories. Syrup and all. Just wait. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, first thing we're going to do is talk about some of the products that we're going to use. First is the bread. First and most importantly, see if you look at that it says whole grain and that is a 35 calorie bread. That's per slice, so 70 calories for our two slices. And whole grain is important because it is very nutritious. I love the Aunt Millie's because look it has all the little oats on top and oh it is just so good, so dense. This is great stuff. The only problem with this is, depending on where you live, they may not have it in 35 calorie. You may have to go with a 45 calorie bread. I figured that out when I went to Florida and couldn't find my 35 calorie bread. Boy, was I disappointed. But if you have to go with a 45 calorie bread, that's okay too. Go with that. Just add the calories in. Next, we are going to use almond milk. It is 30 calories for a full cup of almond milk and it tastes great in all of my recipes. I do not notice a difference and neither does anybody else. So you can use this and what I do if I'm going to drink it straight is I put like four sweeteners in one cup and it's delicious. It's like drinking cereal milk. If you like cereal milk you'll love that. It's very sweet and very yummy. So I'm actually only going to use a quarter of a cup of the almond milk. So it's a little over seven calories, but it's like point something, so really doesn't matter. So a full quarter of a cup there. I'm going to use an egg white, so let me show you how to separate that. You try to break the egg right in the center there, and then see all the egg white try to come out already? There we go. And then go back and forth, because I have two little cups there. Go back and forth until you get all the egg white out, or as much as you can of it anyways. Okay, we got that. All egg white. By using only the egg white, you get rid of tons of calories. A large egg is usually about 70 calories. And if you use just the egg white, that's 16, 17 calories for the egg whites. You can't beat that. Big difference. We're saving so many calories and we're still getting the nutrition from the egg. We're getting the uh, protein that we need from the egg, which is most important. That's what we're going for. So whip that real good so that way the egg white and the milk will mix very, very well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my stove on medium heat, about five or six, and then make sure this is whipped real good because you really want that egg throughout. You want the egg to get in there. I'm going to use a zero calorie cooking spray. I like the butter flavor because it gives it the buttery flavor that you need. And it is zero calories. You can use any kind as long as it's zero calories. I typically use Crisco because the buttery flavor is so good. So strong that buttery flavor. They didn't have it at the time, so. Okay, let's put that one more time. We'll go ahead and dip our bread in there. Make sure you get it nice and saturated. And we'll dip our second piece of bread, get that one nice and saturated. Make sure you get the mixture all over the bread. We'll go ahead and pour the rest of that on the bread. I like to get all the nutrition I can from that egg and that almond milk. Now that takes about five minutes on the first side to cook and then by the second side it takes only about maybe three minutes to cook because then the pan will be nice and warmed up. I don't really preheat the pan ahead of time because cooking spray burns very quickly. So you want to, as soon as you spray the pan with the cooking spray, you want to go ahead and use it right away so that way you don't end up with the burnt cooking spray in there because that doesn't taste good. 
Now while that's cooking, I'm going to go over a few more products here. I said this was apple pie French toast. And this is what I do to make this so easy. Forget 20 ingredients for one recipe. We want to have the least amount of ingredients as possible to decrease the cost and to decrease the workload. Make it easy, quick, and ready to eat. See this here? Apple pie filling. If you notice, no sugar added. It is Splenda. Okay? 30 calories for one third of a cup. OMG. And it is good stuff. It does not taste sugar free at all. As a matter of fact, I make an apple crisp out of it that I have during the holidays for my family and they love it. They never ever say anything about it having any kind of taste. You don't tell them, they don't know. Then I'm going to show you my yummiest thing of all. You worry about missing the butter flavor? Don't worry about that. Look, we have butter spray. You spray this on after you're done cooking your food. Zero calories. There's also an I can't believe it's not butter brand and it's also zero calories. So you still have your butter flavor. You're not missing a thing in this. Then we have a sugar-free syrup and my favorite actually is the Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup but when they don't have it resort to whatever else they have but I'll tell you this is delicious too not missing a thing there's several brands but the main thing is you want to get the least amount of calories out of your syrup you don't want to spend all your calories on syrup and make sure that you use only what you need and with this recipe you don't need much because you have all the apples and all you need is the flavor of this. This is one fourth of a cup for 20 calories and I actually use half of that so I use two tablespoons for 10 calories. Now a good way to know if you're getting done here, you see that? When you first put this in the pan it's sticking to the pan so it's getting done and we know it's getting done because it does that. Check it after about the three minute mark because you might be getting there. Now I can look at it. Oh yeah, it's brown and up nice. Let's see how this one looks. Yes, brown and up nice. Go ahead and clip it. And this happens sometimes, especially when you're cooking on a electric stove. It didn't get cooked real well down here. So what I'll do is I'll flip it next time just for a couple minutes longer and I'll let it be in the middle of the pan so that way it gets all of the browning on the bread there. Remember I said a fourth of a cup of syrup so I'm going to use just half of that fourth of a cup which is two tablespoons. Ah, there. See? Not sticking anymore. That should be either done or really close to it. That's good. Oh. Remember, we're going to flip that to where it gets a little bit on the other side. Yeah, those are ready. Don't burn yourself. Go ahead and spray my butter spray on the one because that one's ready to go. Plate that. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful. Let's go ahead and spray our butter spray. Nice buttery flavor on that golden brown French toast. Oh my gosh, with food like this, why not do this? This is amazing. And 138 calories, oh my goodness. Okay, we'll get that off the burner. Now we gotta be very careful because we don't wanna set our plate on that burner, but I'm going to put my apples evenly on each piece of French toast. There we go. Share them equally. Go ahead and spread them around. Get all that yummy sweet goodness on each piece. Alright. There you go. Mm. And 
our syrup, two tablespoons. Go ahead and spread that evenly. I do this with the cherry pie filling also, and I have the recipe for that as well. I've already made the video, so you have to watch that, okay? All right, look at that. Yummy. Doesn't that look delicious? 138 calories with very few ingredients. Wow. Enjoy your breakfast.